If you haven't done so already, please change your video viewer to full screen mode for best results. Welcome to the introductory tutorial for the Visual 3D Terrain Editor, which allows you to build vast and detailed landscapes starting out from a simple piece of flat land. What you are seeing now is a short preview of the Lizard Rock Island which was created from scratch using this toolset with just a few hours of work. To begin, double click the Visual 3D icon on your desktop. Then select the Tech Demos world and select the Load Architect checkbox as shown. To create a new scene, at the main menu right click the Tech Demos node shown at the top of the World Explorer and select New Scene from the drop down menu. This brings us to the New Scene dialog which can be filled out with the information as shown. Here we have selected to include an editable terrain along with water and land cover. Next, you will be presented with the new terrain dialog. For this example, we will start out with a flat terrain. In the next dialog, we have set our default height to negative 40 meters, so that the surrounding regions will default to below sea level. This is appropriate for creating an island surrounded by water. When you click OK, Visual 3D will generate your terrain and the textures required for rendering it. Initially, your terrain is considered unbuilt and can only be seen in the editor and in preview mode. To view your terrain in built mode, you would need to select the Build Apply button from the top menu of the terrain editor, but we'll tell you more about that in our next tutorial. To give you a preview of the terrain editor in action, you are now viewing a clip of the first minute of construction for the Lizard Rock Island Sample Terrain. This clip is running at three times the normal speed. Notice how easily the camera is manipulated into optimal positions for editing. Next we will show you how to move your camera quickly around the scene. The recommended method for positioning your camera is to use the middle mouse button to click on your point of interest on the terrain mesh. This will center the camera's focus onto your cursor and then you can use the middle mouse wheel to zoom closer or further from your point of interest. By holding down the middle mouse button while dragging the mouse in any direction will conveniently pivot your camera around this point of interest and attain the optimum viewing angle. Also, you can use the standard WSAD keys on your keyboard to move the camera forward, backward, right, or left. Click and drag the right mouse button to turn the camera. Now we present a convenient way to quickly adjust your terrain brush settings. To enable you to keep your cursor conveniently located inside the editing window, you can adjust the main brush settings by holding down the control key on your keyboard while you click and drag any one of the three mouse buttons. To adjust the brush size, click and drag the left mouse button while holding down the control key. Or to adjust the strength, click and drag the right mouse button while holding down the control key. Or to adjust the hardness of your brush, click and drag the middle mouse button while holding down the control key. These shortcuts are designed to accelerate your terrain creation process. Nearly all terrain editing operations can be reversed using the standard Control Z key combination to undo your most recent edits. Or you can click the undo icon located at the top of your editing window. If you're unable to restore your terrain to a previous good state, then we have good news for you. Visual 3D automatically creates periodic backups of your critical terrain files just for this purpose. We'll show you how to recover a previous version of your terrain from these backups in a separate tutorial. Visual 3D creates backups for your height map, your painting atlas, and your land cover atlas. We conclude this tutorial with the same short clip of the Lizard Rock sample terrain which was created from scratch using Visual 3D's terrain editor with just a few hours of work. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have found it useful for the creation of your own outdoor environments.